In this tutorial, I want to show you the process of adding an activity to your curriculum map. Now, first you have to get to this button that says Add Activity. And if you're not sure how to navigate through your course um, to find this button, there is another video tutorial previous to this that you can watch to get yourself here. Once you have reached the topic level and you've found this Add Activity button, you're going to click on it. And you'll need to give your activity a name and a description before you'll have the other fields accessible to you. So I'm just going to do a sample here. Your description can be brief, um, one or two sentences just describing the activity that you're going to do. Once you've filled in those two fields, you'll click Save and Continue. Now we have our name and our description here as before, but it's opened up the rest of the fields as well, starting with the alignment to learning targets. It's going to list here all the learning targets that you have associated with this topic of your curriculum map. So if there's nothing here, that's a problem because it means that you haven't put any learning targets in your topic, and you'll need to take care of that before you'll be able to continue. Assuming you do have learning targets listed here, you'll want to check off whichever ones apply to this particular activity that you're entering. Now, some people do a separate activity focused on every learning target, just one at a time. You may have an activity that covers two or three learning targets. You could even have an activity that covers many learning targets. Um, and maybe you do many activities to make sure those um, learning targets are all mastered. Regardless, you just need to check off the ones that are absolutely addressed by this activity. Once you've checked those, you can start filling in these other descriptions. There are a number of different boxes, everything from teacher and student materials, instructional strategies, differentiation, your assessments. If you're not sure what any of these fields refer to, there is a print, handout printed that you can print in the um, bundle that you can have just as a handy reference. Or, right up here, this blue circle with a question mark in it, if you click that, it will bring up for you um, a description of each of the different fields and what was meant by each of those things, so that you know what type of content um, you're supposed to be putting in there. So you'll fill in um, these fields. You do need to try and fill in all of them, although it is possible that there may be a field that just really isn't applicable to your particular activity, in which case you can simply put not applicable in the box. Down towards the bottom, um, there is one, this resources section is a little bit different. This is a place where you can add a file or a link um, that supports your activity. So if there's a website that you use, you can paste the URL into this box. If there is a file, um, like a, maybe a keynote presentation or a PowerPoint or a document that you or handout that you give the students, you can attach those things from your computer here. You will have to fill in the name and the description. If it's a website, you'll copy the URL or the web address um, and paste it into this field. And if it is a file, you can click Choose File. When you have these filled in, you can click Add Resource to attach it. Down below, you can check off the levels of Bloom's taxonomy that you feel are addressed by this activity. And if you are um, needing a little refresher on Bloom's taxonomy, you can click that Help button right there to find that. These last few sections, are, um, you can just keep on the default settings. You don't really need to change anything in those areas. Once you've completed all of those fields, you will simply save your activity. There's a Save button at the top and the bottom. Um, either one of them will work. And then we're back to our topic level, and we can see that we have an activity in place now. You can continue to add more activities, and then you can use these little, these little handlebars to drag and drop um, those activities into the order that you would be teaching them. As always, if you have any questions, please contact me or post a message in our direct method discussion board on my big campus.